deck. Today we are going to talk about route optimization. The first part of route optimization is uploading orders. Often for route optimization, orders are imported in bulk and through Excel. And if you go to orders tab and you'll see there's Excel upload template where you can upload orders. If you go there, you'll see uh, the first thing is said download Excel template. If you click the download button, it will download Excel template and you can input all your data and upload it back through this uh, option. But before you do that, I want to make sure you, you take care of one thing in settings, which is business type. For route optimization, we assume you are going to pick up from the one place and distribute to all different places through routing and come back to that place again. Therefore, uh, we need a fixed pickup address and you want to say business type delivery only is, and you put up a, a fixed pickup address for this. And, and once you do that, then when you download an Excel template, it will not have a pickup address because we will assume the pickup address from the settings. So now if you go there in Excel upload and you say download the template, and let's open up the template that we downloaded now. And you see that it looks like this. Let me just make sure the zoom level is right. See that these are the fields it has. Uh, one is order number, it's a numeric order number. Delivery customer name, you wanna put a name of the customer. Customer phone number, you may not need to put one before it, but just uh, you know the customer phone number, customer email address, delivery address, and here is a one field for the address. So street address, city, and state. For the United States, it all goes in one place. So make sure there's not a two or three fields for address. There's only one field for address, and all those elements are there. Delivery date, you want to put a date of the delivery. Oftentimes, it's today or tomorrow's date. Uh, delivery time, it is kind of a military time, uh, but make sure it is an integer number, and it is a, it is in this kind of format. Like uh, It's not like a showing in a format of, for example, if I said date, uh, long date, or something like that. It's not like delivery time is like that. You have to make sure the time is uh, just a, uh, the format of the time is just the time, just the short time, like military time, 1330 or 1440, something like that. Item description, this is an optional field, but you can put it like a parcel box or something like that, or meal box, uh, and really, it doesn't really matter in you say if you put something parcel box and if you don't want you know you don't care you just can copy parcel box in all the different cells just pulling this cell down in excel so that way there are fields that you need to fill out but if you don't really want a uh, there's no additional information to add just just uh, fill up with the same data number of items often time how many boxes it is you can mention if not then you can just mention one that's fine total dollars again if you don't want to put, just put zero. And delivery instructions is part delivery. If you have a gate code or special instruction for the driver for that particular delivery that, hey, just call the customer, you can put up these things and this will go to the driver app. So let me show you how a, once you fill it out, it, it may look like something like this. I actually filled out one before and I'll, I just want to show you how it looks like. So for example, you have order number, I just put customer name, John Doe. Uh, I have my phone number, support email. These are all different addresses we have put in there. As you can see that it's a one field for the address. So there's a street address, city, state, and zip code all in one, one field. Delivery date uh, and uh, delivery time. It should be delivery actually, delivery uh, date, not address. But it doesn't matter uh, the top row as long as it is in the same uh, column format in the as you download it, uh, it should be okay. Uh, delivery time, meal plan. Uh, I have some you know number put as a thirty dollars, and some delivery instructions could be blank. That's totally fine. So that's how you prepare the Excel file. And as I said, if for example, if you don't have a delivery date, uh, like a same date, you can just like a, you just put the date of the today's, so 10, 17, 2020 and you can copy this to the next one the next cell 
and once you have two cells you can select both and then if you just click on the bottom right of this thing in Excel it will just copy for every every other cells so you don't have to insert manually if you know a little bit of Excel uh, manipulation you can prepare this worksheet and once you do it it's every time you should just change the address and and um, customer name everything else should uh, and the dates everything else should be fine so I saved this uh, template Excel after I put the data and now I'm going to upload it and I'll show you that how, how it uploads so here's the file and I start uploading it takes a little bit of time because there's a lot of data validation happens while we upload so uh, we'll just be a bit patient but it actually shows you the progress and you can see how fast it is going Once the data upload happens, then you can see all the addresses on the map and you can create a routes on the map. And that's how we basically design the route optimization for ship day. Uh, and again, as I said, uh, the first time you need to set up this template and you can save this file on your desktop. Next time, you could just change the name and, and the address and the date. But the template could remain the same and uh, it shouldn't take a long time once you get a hang of it. A little bit of Excel skill may be needed, but it uh, should be very basic. So we are waiting for uploading and once it uploads, I will show you how you can actually create routes on the map. And we can have a separate video for uh, route optimization, how it looks like on the customer side and on the driver side. All right, so all orders has been successfully processed. So we say save. Actually, you don't have to do the save. It's, it's kind of done now. And I'm um, oh, sorry, it started again, but no worries. We already got our orders here. It will show up. Yep, all the orders. And you see that um, any, you know, if you go into details, you can see all the orders here inside. And if there's a, this one does not have any uh, delivery instructions, the ones that it has, would probably show something like this you can call and text and the drivers can see it also so on the map if you go on the map right now you will see that all the addresses are here and the way you create route on the map is a very interesting um, way and we'll show you and the pin is where your uh, pickup address is and you can see that all the addresses of the city are showing it if you have a bigger screen, it's probably better. Uh, let me make this screen complete full and you can see it. And let me turn on the route optimization. I don't think we did turn on. So here in the routing, you turn on route optimization. They ask you, how do you want to do it? Distance or travel time. Say we say distance and we save it. And we come back to the map and we have a route. So very, very interesting. A way of route optimization happens here uh, very, very, in a very visual way. So first thing, if you have three, four drivers, your first job is to create clusters out of these dots and say, okay, I might want to send somebody over this area. There's a bunch of orders. So you see these two tools here. One is a hand kind of a drawing and there's a draw a shape. So you can start drawing a cluster by just pulling this uh, one at a time and creating a closed area all it does is basically and you need to end it by clicking here and it's just saying okay if I put this orders in one cluster how much how long is going to take so there's 35 stops it's going to take 5 hours 28 minutes 43 miles and you can see the view details if I do view details 
something from the left will come in and you see that all the addresses and how the optimized addresses in this will order so for example i mean i can i can let this go if you look at it in detail in in the deep it actually shows you the optimal route that i'm going to start from here and then you go here here and um, all those dots you can see it, it will it basically shows you the optimal sequence and if i pull this on uh, it's not selected yet you can just you know click on one of the corners here and this box will come up it's the view details and it will show up on the left side so you can actually see all the details here and which step is after what and the reason we do it is oftentimes uh, because if if you want to take a printout of and give it to the driver in case the phone connections are not good they they actually know which stops and what after what is the optimal route and you can assign this to somebody if there's a driver online you can assign it to somebody from here or you can actually download this and uh, and print it out later on for somebody to to give it to and and this is how it looks like the pickup location and you see all the addresses there so in that and back to pickup location it's not necessary but it, it gives you a, a, one more data point so that uh, in case the driver has any problem on the phone they can always have a printed document and you can slide back in and you can also clear the selection so this is all gone if you didn't like the route and again you can you can create another route here and you can create multiple say I, I do the first one here so that's one cluster so you need to make sure you need to close this so that's one cluster I got it I can close it out and to bring that box back up again just click again in one of the vertices and the box will show up again so I can leave it like this and I create another one for example say okay uh, looks like there's a lot of people in this area maybe we can route uh, make one route ever here how does that's gonna look like and again make sure you close this box and it will show okay this is like a 4 hour 20 minutes if you start from here and go back and do all those things and if you can see if, if you do view details again this is the it's actually showing this route here right now it's a 70 miles 4 hour 17 stops and again you can assign these orders to somebody else or uh, download and I can keep it like this I don't you know this is a one we got this two cluster now what about the rest of this so maybe I can say okay maybe there's a, another cluster we could do like this And you make sure you have to close it so that's one route and there's 13 here and it shows the route and we can put the rest of them in one another route say so, and you can you can overlap them that's okay uh, you're just trying to make a close area and that's another close area say so, okay this is a 42 package is gonna take a pretty long time if you don't like it you can click on one of the boxes and just say okay uh, clear selection I don't like it I may need a little bit more so you can you can go a little bit deep and and create another route maybe two routes here but if you look at it uh, we are doing uh, 108 addresses routing here on the map and we can just select the area and the algorithm shows you the optimal sequence within that area and I'll show you how to once you assign this order so if you can click in one of the vertices and you can assign these orders to somebody uh, no driver is online right now but once somebody's online you can assign to them and how does it look on the phone the great part of the phone side is that once you, the driver receives everything on the phone they can notify customers on the route so the customers also get a real-time ETA when the drivers are coming and also uh, they can uh, also another another notification before they are on the way to the customer and that when they actually show the map so there's really a lot of cool features about routing we'll cover this in another video about how does it look on the driver's side and the customer side thank you for watching